Hi everyone, welcome to Cooking with Lamore. Today guys, I have another little tasty appetizer for you guys. I'm preparing a blooming onion. It's my first time guys, so we're going to do it together. You, you and I, we're going to do it together, okay? So how's the weather where you're at? Where I'm at, it's cloudy outside. It's starting to get cold. It's in the 50s. But I'm still going to get in this kitchen and I'm going to make this little tasty appetizer, this blooming onion. So I'll see you at the stove. Okay, guys, once you have your onion peeled, you're going to, um, once you get your onion peeled, this hard part, you're going to leave this on. And right here at the tip, you know, the tip of the onion, you're going to cut half of that off. You're going to cut it off so this surface can be flat. You're going to cut it off. See? And now your surface is flat. So you're going to go about a half inch down from this area. So we're going to go about right here. And we're going to slice all the way down. And we're going to go around in a circle. Try to have them lined up evenly. To your best of your ability. We're doing it together, guys. This is my first time, too. You definitely don't want to go way up here. Because you want your onion to be able to flare out. If you go up too far up here, it's going to rip, you know, your uh, your onion petal off. So, you want to be at least one, a half inch down from the top. And you just go, keep going around in a circle. Try to get them even as you can. I'm not that good at slicing, guys. You already know that. Okay, so now that we have our slits, see? We have our slits. So now, in between those slits, I'm going to make another little slit. And I'm all the way down. I'm trying to get them as even as I can. I might have some that's a little big. Because I'm not perfect, guys. You know, I always say that. Okay, so now that we made our slits, I'm going to put one little, more little one right here. Let me do one little one right here. Okay, now we made our slits. We're going to turn it over. And we're going to start opening up our petals. And this is blooming onion. Take your time, guys. Don't go too fast because you don't want to, um, you want to break them. You know what I mean? Matter of fact, I'm going to go back in and make these slits a little deeper because I don't think I cut deep enough to where it's flaring the way it's supposed to. So let me just make sure I went all the way down with the cuts. Just going over the ones I did. Make sure I go all the way down with the cuts. Okay, now let's give it a try and see. Yep, so this is how you do it, guys. Now it's flaring out. And then you just want to try to like pull your little uh the leaves apart and bring it down. You know, just take your time and flare them out. Flare out your little cuts. This is for your blooming onion, guys. You want to get your, flare out your little slits that you made, right? And just take your time, guys. Take your time. Just take your time and just flare them out. See, it's coming along. Just take your time. Flare them out. Separate those cuts that you made. So you have a nice blooming onion. Just flare out your cut. See, it's coming along. Just flare it out. Try not to break it, though. Try. You have to be gentle. Can't be rough with this because you'll break off the uh the little you know your little petals. Cannot be rough. I have to admit, I'm a little heavy-handed. 
What about you guys? Are you heavy handed? I am a little bit heavy handed. I'm trying to hurry to get this flared out. It's coming along. Got the flit, got these in the middle. You got to get down, just kind of like you know, pull them down to where it's like layering. That's why when you cut it, you got to make sure your cuts go all the way through. See, your blooming onion. And this was a medium onion, guys, medium to large onion. I think I still want to try to flare them out a little bit. I'm trying to find those slits that I made. Anywho, you get the concept. Now, I'm not going to keep pulling them down too far because I don't want it to break in the middle. But that's how you do it. Okay, so after you get that done, guys, then you're going to be placing it in a cup of cold water and the reason you're going to be placing it in the cold water because you're going to put it in the freezer for about an hour because you want it to strengthen the leaves not the strength and taste but the strength in the leaves and so you're going to leave it in the freezer for about 30 minutes to an hour and then once that's done you proceed to the next step so i'm going to just go ahead and close it up get it closed up see closed up and I'm going to just place it in a cup of cold water. And we're going to put it in the freezer for about an hour. We have it placed in a cup of cold water. We're going to put it in the freezer for about an hour. And then um, we're going to take it out and proceed to the next step. So once this get done, once we have it in the freezer for an hour, guys, the next step it shall be. So we're going to leave it in there for about 30 minutes. I'm going to say 40 minutes to an hour. Now, if you get ice on it, if it gets ice on it, you just knock the ice off. Okay, guys? Okay, guys, so we are back. So for this recipe, guys, okay, so I took out the onion. I got the excessive water off, okay, and pat dried it. We have flour. We have our seasonings. You know, you use whatever type of seasonings you like. Right here I have... Um, basil, garlic, garlic powder, and garlic seasoning, and I have paprika. Then I made three, we have egg wash, so that's three eggs. I'm going to be using vegetable oil. You can use whatever type of oil you like. Okay, so let me get the oil on. Get the stove turned on with this oil. We want this oil hot, you know, like how when you fry chicken. So we want it hot. I'm using one whole bottle of oil, guys. I'm putting it in my pot. Give me a second. Okay, so I'm going to get this. Turn the stove on. Okay, so now this is what we're going to do. Let me get my gloves on, guys. Because it's going to be a little bit on the messy side. You're probably going to want to work with two pair of gloves. So just make sure you have at least two pair of gloves on deck because you're going to have to change gloves. Okay, so got my gloves on, guys. Welcome back. Okay, so we're going to start with, let me slide this over. We're going to start with adding our seasonings to our flour. And we're going to give that a nice little stir. Let me get my little mixer. I'm going to give it a nice little stir. Stir it up well, guys. I got about a cup and a half of flour. Probably don't need that much, but I just wanted to make sure I had enough. So we're whipping the flour up. The ingredients inside the flour. I think I'm going to add just a little bit more of garlic pepper. You can even add um, spices, like, you know, something hot like sriracha or cayenne pepper. You know, if you want a spicy blooming onion. Okay, so now that we got that mixed up, we have our stove on. This little piece came off. 
That's why I was saying, be careful how you, you know, you cut. And it came off when I was trying to drain the water off and dry it off. Okay, so that's the blooming onion, right? So what we're going to do, guys, we're going to close it back up. And we're going to dip it in the egg wash. We're going to try to get egg wash all around this boy. Spread egg wash all around. I only had three eggs, guys. You can use probably like four eggs, but I only had three. So I'm, I'm using with what I had. What I have, excuse me. Get it nice and, you know, get your hands all up in there. Try to get that egg wash down on the sides. Just nice, you know, get it in there. And like I was saying, guys, you got to be careful so you don't break your petals. I think I just broke. No, it's not broke. It's just hanging. Or is it? Anywho, so now what I'm going to do is we're going to start sprinkling some of our flower mixture throughout the petals. And we're going to get it on each Try to get it on each leaf. If you got to spread your leaves apart to get in down in there between the leaves. Matter of fact, I'm going to put this back on the cookie sheet. I mean, on the um, cutting board. Let me flip it back over for a second. It'll be just easier to work with so you can see. So we're going to get our, our um, dash of flour, you know, go in between each of them. With your flour, just take your time, guys. You don't need to rush. Pull your petals apart. Get in between those petals. Try to get in, in between there as best as you can. Like I was saying, guys, it's going to be messy. But that's what soap and water is for, right? You can clean that mess right on up. So that's the easy part. And I'm going to hold it up a little bit so I can make sure I get it down in there. I'm going to bring this side in, hold it up so I can get it down in there. And I'm going to bring it all up together as one. Try to anyway. I'm trying to get flour on all the petals. Okay, now I'm going to gather it all up together, right guys? And I'm going to turn it upside down. And we're going to pat off. Let me get some flour in the back part. You want to get the flour everywhere. So you can have a nice, crunchy, blooming onion. And then at the bottom, what you do is you just pat like this. Pat all the SS flour out. You see how it's coming out? Pat all the SS flour out. Try to pull your petals back apart a little bit. I'm gonna go in with some more flour. And just do it like this. Take the bowl and just sprinkle it. Like I was saying, guys, it's going to be messy. Try not to break them. It's very hard holding it. Okay. Then flip it back over. Hold it in the palm in your hand and shake off the excess flour. Pat it all around. You see how it's dropping down? Can you see it? Getting all the excess flour out. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is try to open my petals back up a little bit.
You can use whatever size onion you like. You can use whatever type of onion you like. I believe you can use um, you can use red onions, yellow onions, Okay, let's see how that grease is doing. Give it a little test. Not quite there yet. So while that grease is getting hot, guys, hold on a sec. Okay, guys, I'm back. And let's give it a little a test. Okay, so the grease is hot. Let me move the camera over here. So you can see when I get drop it in. Okay. So I'm going to flip it over. You know how we was flipping it before, right? Now we're going to ease this in here. Let me, let me matter of fact, let me get a, a spatula or something. I really do not want to get burnt. I'm going to put it, place it on the spatula so I can lower it down. Boom. Place it on the spatula, guys, to lower it down into your um, pan. And so it's cooking, guys. You see that? It is cooking. So I'm going to turn the stove down just a little bit. And we don't, you do not want to be flipping it back and forth because that'll mess up the cooking process. So just make sure you just, you know, don't have your oven too high. I mean, excuse me, not your oven, guys, your stove. You know, you do it just like you're doing chicken. Okay, so now while that's going, let me get this little mess right here cleaned up. Okay, guys, we're going to take her out. Look at that. We'll take her out, and we're going to turn her upside down so we can drain the excessive oil off. So we can drain the excessive oil off. So we're going to let that excessive oil drain off, and then we're going to plate her up. All done, guys. All done. If you are an onion ring lover, then you will love this recipe. Okay, guys, we did it. We did it together, guys. Blooming onion. Not too bad if I don't say my so say so myself. Thank you for watching Cooking with Lamore. Please hit the like, subscribe, and share button. We did it, guys. We did it together. You and I. My first time came out pretty good for a first time, all right? So thank you guys for coming to the channel. Thank you for liking the videos. Thank you for sharing the videos. I really do appreciate you. With that being said, guys, you have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye.